fat Dick Lickerson. <laughs> Keep your arms R. and R. legs inside the car at all times. Huh? Wow. Whatever you say right now, the whole world's going to hear. Yeah. Don't say anything stupid. Either. Don't <laughs> fart. Quiet the whole time. <laughs> yeah, we have mics underneath the table to pick up all flatulence. Yeah. That's the hardest thing. Try not to fart. Girls don't fart. Nah, that's no. a fucking lie. Girls on steroids fart. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Way too much caffeine. It's awesome. All right, before shit gets weird, Quest Nutrition is going to do a quick giveaway. I need you guys to head over to uh, YouTube's. Ayo. Are you familiar with YouTube's? I've heard of it, I think. I've it's heard like of it before. Give it's me like one of those goddamn cookie dough bars. I love those things. It's like a Google uh, for videos. You what? can just Google like cat farts, and what? then boom, a video of a cat farting pops up. I'm Where is this on? It's uh, YouTube's. The YouTube. YouTube's. Never yeah, heard yeah, of it. Yeah, YouTube.com. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. go there. Type in Tim Ferriss on Becoming Jason Bourne, Inside Quest. Subscribe. And go into the comment section. Let them know that the PowerCast sent you. It's a lot you. of instruction. No, 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 no. It's two things. Just let them know that the PowerCast sent you. Write that shit in the comments. Type, type, type. Type, type, type. Enter. Ayo. And then maybe you can win some shit. Do, 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 do. Ayo. That's Ayo. it. What are you, a DJ? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm your hype man. Yeah, that horn. I'm making horn. it. I'm making it hype. No, it's good. Oh, you're the hype man. Yeah. yeah. The hype yeah. woe man. <laughs> woe man. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. What is going on? This is all yeah, these we got farts all. from different animals. Yeah. It's cat farts. Cat you farts. Google cat farts. I'm I, telling you. I did exactly. Dude, why are horses so jacked? They have like vascularity in their thighs and shit. Yeah. You've seen that? It's from the Anavar. Whoa, oh, that's, whoa. that's probably actually true, huh? Yeah, 20 milligrams of Anavar. But every you're not day. even or joking. Like, I, they probably beef them up. Yeah. <laughs> There's <laughs> just farts flying left and right over here. There, this oh, reminds it's me a of my house. Rhino. That's so cute. It reminds me of my house. My kids are farting all the time. I'm farting all the that time. That rhino reminds me of it's you. Good time. You guys are staying there. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Yeah, you're staying in the flatulence you're house. You're screwed because Bart's farts are deadly. They are. Oh, they are wow. horrible. You'll lose. People, people get pissed. Like, if we're yeah. having a legitimate meeting, he farts, the room is cleared immediately. Has anyone ever died? I just about almost had a yeah. conversation with God. What's the issue? What do you think? I don't know. It's usually the healthier the food that I eat, the stinkier the fart. Oh, that's awesome. I wish you're I was allergic to healthy healthy food. But if I eat McDonald's, it's like odorless. Is it just because you eat seaweed <laughs> yeah. all day long? I think it's the same. <laughs> yeah, seaweed. Yeah, that's weird. Do you have uh, trouble digesting like vegetables and shit? I don't know. I don't I know think, what it is. I think like broccoli will make anybody fart. Yeah, yeah. The trippy shit is um, after he takes a shit, the bathroom smells like nothing happened. It's oh, just as far roses. As, oh. It's just yeah. as far that's as very odd. Your I shit think don't like, stink, it's, huh? It's, it's no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. It just lets it out. <laughs> it just opens up and lets everything out. I'm gonna oh. crack open some caveman coffee. That oh, sounds really cool. Oh, cool! I'm not peeking anymore. What does that mean? Stop being a nerd. Uh, peeking <laughs> means uh, like I'm like blowing out the system. Like it just sounds like. <laughs> oh, I yeah, thought yeah. that meant like you're getting strong for a powerlifting meet. I, I never sound get gay. strong. I never peek. No. I sound gay for some reason. We need more components, I heard. No, yeah, maybe that's why you're it's peaking. Only 300, only 300 bucks. That's yep. a hell of a deal. Go to how much you benched on that for more components. <laughs> something. <laughs> need something. Well, we're here today with the... What is the, that uh, noise? Is there a power the, There's like a YouTube video of farts going on in the background. We can hear it. <laughs> yeah, how can we hear it? <laughs> oh my God, it's still going on. It's not going on to the, these poor podcast listeners, but we can no. hear it. A lady's farting on her cat. That's fucking rude. That's horrible. Is that what we're hearing? That's what that lady's doing. Apparently, doing. yeah. God. Oh. So did the podcast start already? Or no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. When? No, no. You guys got the uh, email of the script, right? Yeah. yeah. Smelly yes. sent that over? Oh, all yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. We're got good it. then. Yeah, now's the part where you talk about the thing. Yeah. Bart? Oh, go yeah. for it. Take it away. Yeah, so there was these components. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, so there's That's like, how it started. There's about two or three of them. And then it's hard to choose which one you want. You really want. So you usually choose the one that's on the side. <laughs> because the one on the side uh, is the one. The black one? But you don't want it the on the front one. side. No, no, you no. don't want the black one. You it's want on the front. Do you want the backside <laughs> one? The black backside one. Whoa. Hmm. Are we still talking about components? Yes, sure that's components. the one that's the most recommended. The black backside? Components. So the whole point of this show is kind of make sure that nobody understands what we're talking about and that oh, no I Yeah. <laughs> and that people stop listening at, at a certain point. So hopefully people have already dropped off. Yeah. They can't hear anything we're saying now. <laughs> we can say whatever the fuck we want now. That's the whole point. You try to kick them off early. Who are, who's here? Smelly, you didn't even introduce our No, guests. I know. I was about to, and oh. then we heard cats farting. Hey, cats oh. farting. I We're here today with the uh, owner of Barbell Brigade, uh, Hello. Mr. Mr. Bakwan. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bakwan. <laughs> There's the bow. And we're here with Gio, and I'm not sure how to say her last name, but I'll just... Is that your real last name? That's actually that's my a, middle name. That's Gio Antoinette. Oh. 
Stage yeah. name? Ant- stage name. Antoinette. I don't know how to say it. I don't know what I'm doing. It, it works. That's a French ass name. Yeah. Anyway, all you really hey. need to know, all you really need to know, know is that Geo is hot and Bart is not. And, uh, <laughs> I like that. I like that too. So Bart, you know when? When are you just gonna just you know make her just sign up? Like just you know when are you gonna put a ring on that shit? Just Team so Quan. Just so whoa, 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 whoa. Just so she doesn't get away. I mean, what whoa, if she gets whoa. away? Yeah. Who's, who's what if she I gets want, away? Who says I want the ring? I heard. I know, but like, just he just needs to trick you or something. Yeah. Or no, it's I'm actually the other way around. Like she's been trying to get me to sign something. Oh uh, shit! But I'm a traditional person, so I'm waiting for her to get it on her knee. Mm. Oh, and she yeah. won't. But that's, she won't do it. That's not happening. She, I'm not down well, with that. Well, if she doesn't get on her knees, and a whole lot of things are hey! happening. <laughs> hey now. Hey now. What kind of show is this? Whoa, whoa. Components. God damn. Hey now. Components. Components. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but it's, it's happening in September, actually. We're going to get married in uh, Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be That's there. That's great. Let's, let's play a little trivia here. So, oh, uh, shit. This is only one person can answer. Uh, Mr. Bart Kwan. Yes. Uh, when you, did, did you, you didn't bow. <laughs> what uh, oh Misa Bakwan. <laughs> when did you guys uh when did you guys meet? What's the date, do you know? Uh components. <laughs> <laughs> uh we met I would say probably Oh, this is when I was in junior college and uh we met through mutual friends probably like uh <laughs> eight, nine years ago. That means you went to a party and banged, huh? Ew, yeah. that's gross. We don't do that. Oh, she bangs, no. she bangs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> William Hung. Yeah. True. That's, that's my cousin. Well <laughs> hung. Mm-hmm. Well, hey whoa, huh? Hey uh, let's see what else we got. So uh, he didn't even answer the question. Yeah, I did. Components. Yeah, he kind of got. He sort of right. eight yeah, or nine years ago through mutual friends. All right, yeah. true, eight true. or I just nine. Don't to you. And then and then where where did you, you meet? Know. You eight met at a party. Nine. I think so. No, no, no. We met uh, just a bunch of friends hanging out. We think we had a lot of kickbacks back then. So it's probably at like a friend's house. What's a kickback? I'm unfamiliar with this. <laughs> oh, okay, so kickback. I, I don't know if it's a familiar you're not term. Like, yeah, yeah. You're not raging. Yeah, party is like music's loud. You right, can't right. hear what anybody is saying. Kickback is like the music's low and maybe it's during the day and you can count everybody. That's What's in the, the room. decibel point that it goes from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. Kickback let's to a rager. Th- <laughs> let's turn this thing to a rager. <laughs> yeah, it's about like I don't know, twelve decibels. Okay. Um, it's 12 on. Decibels. It's on the right. Pick the one on the right. Yeah. Uh, what's his favorite song, Gio? Oh, what's his favorite song? Oh, shoot. You guys suck. He has a lot of favorite <laughs> songs. Um, Uh-oh. Me and, Mar- me and Mark would be What's like something this? current that he really that he really likes? Um, He likes this Justin Bieber song. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> ding. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? It's the new Justin Bieber with uh, Diplo and Skrillex. He just got so excited. Yeah, <laughs> bing, 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 bing. You're going to start singing it for us. It's awesome. I knew you guys would think That's that was That's my funny. girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's the truth. All right, I've never heard there, that. Uh, is that what you're going to PR to today? Possibly. Yeah, oh, let's turn it up. I should yeah. play that. Bieber is you're never not PR in my gym, buddy. <laughs> 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 Sounds gross. Bieber Bieber's never been playing through those speakers, I don't think. Dude, I'm down with that. It's, it's more of a Skrillex and Diplo song, but then Justin Bieber's on it. But his voice no, sounds it's nice. It's a Bieber song. It's, it's sure a Bieber song. Bieber yeah. song. Yeah. He's I like it. sampled off another song. He's like legitimately singing, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. legitimately yeah, yeah. singing. Damn. <laughs> What's uh, Gio's favorite thing to do other than lift? Uh, probably talk shit about me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Behind your back or in front of your face? Both. Usually in front of my face. In front of your face. Yeah, like her favorite thing to do is when I tell a glorious story about myself. I'm like, you know what happened? Earlier I did this. And she goes, no, you didn't, you <laughs> fucking dick. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Yeah, put him in his place. That's what every girl's there for. Yeah. You guys do a lot of videos. You're all over the YouTubes. You got podcasts and all kinds of shit going on. What's some stuff that Bart does uh, behind the scenes that's, that people don't get to see? Um, I don't know. I think everyone gets to see everything that he does because uh, the way he is behind the camera is exactly how he is in front of the camera. He's an asshole, twenty four seven. I saw you in a bikini a couple times, Did like you see multiple, those? like multiple. Yeah, like is this a, is like this a, a thing? Are you going to talk about? Well, this? I get it. Like, uh, you know, you do comedy. You throw the bikini on once to get a laugh. Throw it on twice, more mm-hmm. views, more laughs. <laughs> throw it on three times. I think you just like being in a bikini. Did you see the pubes though? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I s- screen capped it. That Sent it to Smelly. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just man fluff. Spank, no bang. comment. No <laughs> comment. Man. That's great. So gross. You could have at least stuffed a little bit. Yeah, or wow. Or maybe <laughs> worse. Maybe <laughs> worse stuffed. I don't know. I, don't know I was happened. stuffed. Yeah. I stuffed really hard, but it's stuffed to the max. Still just Aww. didn't register. The socks were just cold that day. Damn. Yeah. So what's what's up with <laughs> what's up with Barbell Brigade? Uh, when did you guys uh, when did you guys start that place up? We started it in 2013. Right. Uh, we officially opened in October. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. You remember that date pretty well, but you didn't remember uh, the meeting years, date. Right? Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. Too much Dick. time has passed. You yeah. Did. Just met her somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? 
You know, we actually hated each other when we first met each other. Oh, so I thought awesome. she was a bitch. Oh, is that Latin Asian so gang so thing going on, huh? <laughs> 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 Just coming at each other. <laughs> yeah. That was exactly Switch it. blades and fucking for sure. Fast and Furious shit. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That's exactly what she happened. She was in a lowrider. I was in a Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was you for hauling uh, off because you uh, didn't like her. Yeah, that sounded like my fart. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what 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 made you guys start the gym? Um, actually, it's uh, I have to give a shout out to the twenty four hour fitness down the street from my do, house. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so randomly, um, randomly, I just wanted so to sign up. You just sound hype. Effects. You just hype up every, <laughs> every story. It's kind of after the fact, yeah. though, rather than before. I'm like, gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the like, best PR today because she's gonna be screaming. Like when there's late breaking news, there's the noise first, and then the yeah. late breaking news. That's like this the Jamaican after. horns. That's the this best sound too. Yeah. So um, I, I used to do like bodybuilding and I just work out for fun, and then randomly I wanted to sign up for a powerlifting meet. And then I was training at 24 Hour Fitness, and then I realized half the things that I was reading online I couldn't achieve there, especially like deadlifting. Like you just have to put the weights down slowly. They didn't right. have a steroid shop up front. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your goals were a little out of your reach. Yeah, yeah. how yeah. many steroids a month do you sell out of your gym? Do you guys think? Uh, I just think like guess. I think about about to estimate like 20 gallons. I, I think that's right. Oh, gallons. Yeah, that's yeah. A yeah, that's moving. That's that's, that's, moving. that's a lot different than pounds. Yeah. 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 Holy shit! I almost did a spit take wow. of my caveman coffee over my keyboard right then. Pushing weight. Why doesn't Man. Rick Ross rap about gallons? I don't know. He's is that how you guys have your dough? Way. Yeah, is that, that? I mean, it's mainly from the steroids. <laughs> is that even the right measurement? Or I no? Yeah, 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 you nailed it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> gallons, right? Yeah, that's how I. That's how I take them. <laughs> By the gallon. There's no other way to take them. There's no other way to do it. Seventy. No megs. Nothing. So the 24 hour fitness just sucked. It sucked ass. And then uh, I was you looking. You guys know each other at that point? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we were ready together. So uh, we were looking around for, I guess, a more hardcore powerlifting, functional fitness type gym, and there's, there just wasn't any in the L.A. area. So uh, me and Gio, we were like, okay, what if we just rented one of those containers, put in the back of the JK office, and we just work out out of there? You're already and doing YouTubes at this time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Um, That's kind of Kelly Sturette like Kelly Sturette didn't really have a gym for a long time. He just had like a parking lot, a parking lot, basically. Yeah. Oh, and he had a little right. a little cover over top of it. And this is in San Francisco. It's windy and it's fucking freezing and wet and it's the cold grind, all the fucking the time. The hustle. Uh, yeah. yeah. And he had a container that had like a lot of his equipment in it. He pulled some of it out. They trained with it, put it back at the end of the day. And that was it. Yeah, that was our Smart. idea. And then uh, we wanted. So we pitched that to about like 20 of our friends to like all contribute some money. And we would just give the, the key to the lock to like 20 people. And then uh, everyone was like, dude, I'm so down for it. And then that's when me and Jill were like, oh, shit, what if we just open up a legit space? So we just started reading like a, what is that thing called? A business, business, uh, plan. A business plan uh, book. They're called books, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. business plan. <laughs> I've never seen one. <laughs> business plan book, because all we know is online at this point. We don't know anything about brick and mortar businesses. And then uh, after a year of studying it and just kind of putting our ideas together, we opened our first uh, location in Monterey Park. Is that the name of the book? The business plan book? <laughs> Something like that. It's probably like... Uh, business plans for dummies. Or yeah. One, yeah, two, yeah, three, yeah, business lines. tomorrow. Would that really help? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's um, cool, though. I mean, yeah, I think yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it really helped. A little bit. But I mean, I think what helped the most was the fact that we already had like an online presence. Right. So we were oh, cool. able to like kind of survey our fan base and just be like, hey, guys, so we have this genius idea. Um, if we decide to do this, would you guys want to do it? And then... The response was super positive, and we're like, oh, shit, I think we're on to something here. I think the thing that helped the most, though, is that we had a pretty clear vision in mind because we knew exactly what we didn't want and what we wanted. Right. True. So it was, if with a goal in mind, it's not just like, oh, how, how do we, like, build a successful gym? We're making a gym that was fit for us, and we knew exactly what we wanted. So I think that's that was what helped us, like, cut through all the bullshit. How big was uh, that space? Like 2,000 square feet. Because <clears throat> I think that's when I first uh, kind of found you, whatever year. That might have been a couple of years ago. Uh, Were you no looking offense. for us? Yeah, I was looking. Yes. But, like, I, I didn't watch your comedy, to be honest. You know, like, all I did was read Meathead stuff. And so I saw you lifting. And I saw him with bands and chains, kind of conjugate style. I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, that's what we do up here. Started working for Mark at that time. Reached out. And then now we're family. That's awesome. Now That's we're it. all in love. Yeah, when when uh, we first started communicating, you were just starting or just opening the new gym. You were like, "Oh, you might as well wait because uh, the facility I have is kind of small, and yeah. we're moving into a bigger spot." And now the spot you have now is uh, how big? Six thousand square feet or something? Just like that? about like fifty five hundred. Yeah, nice. And it's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, one of the coolest gyms. What's I've been to. What's the goal with the gym now? Now that you kind of have, um, I'm sure you always want more. But yeah. Like, what's the goal with the gym now? Like, what are you trying to do with the gym? Maybe put in like a. Uh, 
some uh, ping pong court, <laughs> treadmills, you know. Ping pong, that's very Asian. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Chess, yeah. bowling, I know. Hey, Xbox. Wait a, second, wait a second. Now, are you uh, solely responsible for the Asian community uh, in powerlifting? Oh. <laughs> there's, there's she, has some, she has something to say about that, actually. Honestly. No, I'm being, I'm being 100% serious. I, and I'm going to be 100% serious when I say yes. Um, cause when he first signed up, this you're was, like the uh, fucking Bruce Lee of power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. As I have a good as, story after this. Go as much as I hate Bart. Like, yeah, I have to say that. Yeah. I, I feel like, he, <laughs> why do you even hate me to begin with? <laughs> cause you're gross. That's just what happens. Like when you no, love we someone, all you just hate, hate you. Them. Just make that clear. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a thin line between love and hate. Yeah. There, there's like a yeah. decent, uh, Asian community, uh, or group, uh, community, whatever <laughs> Asian people <laughs> are at the gym. Super training used to be out of, and I teach a class there and there's a couple guys in there. Uh, Asian guys, and I wore this hat, you know, and I was like, or or, different let's call them Orientals. Yeah, a bunch of Orientals. <laughs> yeah, that. that's a good yeah. name. A bunch of Orientals yeah. are out there. <laughs> that always works. Yeah. Are lifting, and that's I wore PC. this hat. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I wore this hat, and it's like, oh, like, uh, just kidding films, like Bart. It's got Mark Wong, if you're listening. And I was like, I was like, yeah, do you Bart so home? He's like, I've been watching his YouTube forever, and he's Ay. an Asian guy that likes to power lift, watches your comedy. Ayo, oh, you're Asian. everywhere. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Where's the Asian hype? Uh, you only have no, the Jamaican no, that's horns. That's racist, dude. I'm oh. not doing that. Oh, sorry, Oriental Geo. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any p particular reason why Asians are flocking to powerlifting? It, it kind of seems like it's a surge from them. Yeah, I mean. why not weightlifting? I don't know. Ask, ask Gio. No, I have no idea. Well, You've analyzed this? You do, she's you writing a book on it. You were telling so, me the other day. So, I mean, the way it happened and the way I saw it happen kind of was um, when he first started powerlifting, uh, he did the Camp Pendleton meet. And there was about, like, I want to say maybe like 40 to 60 lifters at that time. They were all white. They looked like, like you they guys. Were, like, like you guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, like you guys handsome, fucking honky. Successful. <laughs> yeah, hung super like honky. a horse. White yeah, trash piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. And then <laughs> I was like, dude, everyone's old and like fat whoa, whoa, and, whoa. and horrible looking here. <laughs> <laughs> Old and fat, <laughs> nailed it. And then the only the present only <laughs> here, the check. only Asian guy was Bart. And um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I do that the wrong time? <laughs> <laughs> Mark uh, was singing the, <laughs> the witch from the Wizard of Oz. It was. Oh, yeah. it was. <laughs> hey, man, oh just trying to song. contribute. Just trying to make it entertaining, you know? <laughs> <laughs> a witch riding a bicycle around a house. <laughs> That's exactly what I heard. That was amazing. That threw me off. Um, yeah, and then uh, we documented it, and then we threw it up online, and then people were like, oh, shit, so I can do other types of training. I mean, because we have, like, a really huge Asian, Asian demographic, and then um, when we threw up that documentary, or that he was about to start making a documentary um a lot of people kind of started like paying more attention to powerlifting they were like dude this is super cool like it's not just bodybuilding because it seems like that's kind of what everyone starts off yeah. with um so yeah i think i think that that's why i think bart started it how many uh channels you got going on you got one you got one yes personal ones and then you got jk as three yeah four? under, well, under the jk brand there's yeah. five there Dang. what's there's j a, what's jk what is that so just jk kidding? is just kidding so we have yeah. just kidding films and that's like a comedy channel we have just kidding news it's like a comedic talk show and then we have Ask the Feels. It's uh, like a dating romance channel. And then we have Just Kidding Gamer, which is a gaming channel that we're not really a part of, but we, we just control the branding of. You own them. Kind exactly. of, yeah. <laughs> and then we have Just Kidding Party, which is kind of like this game show. Like and lifestyle a challenges. Lot of, a lot of self-torture type stuff. Yeah. So who, all the, who like runs all this shit? Uh, we have a whole team. So we have a... <laughs> How many people? Eight full-time and then 18 total. So we have like another 10 part-time. And you're like heavily involved. Both of you are heavily involved in all this stuff? Yeah. 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 For sure. Um, what's, a, what's a week look like for you guys? Oh, shit. Um, so it's act we, we have it like we have a pretty good workflow now. So Monday through Thursday, we commit completely to Just Kidding Films, which is like the whatever. Are you, are you being serious? Yes. Uh, yeah. you're, are you just kidding? You're just kidding. <laughs> Super serious. <laughs> So, mo yeah. <laughs> so Monday, Monday, to Monday and Tuesday, we either. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You got it. There we go. <laughs> Bart's trying to tell oh, a sorry, story. He didn't oh, know man. how this whole interview thing yeah, goes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't go well. Last Monday, time Monday, he comes here. Monday and Tuesday, um, we do either full days of filming, and our, our filming days would be like. So if we do Just Kidding News, for example, we would film from like. 10 a.m. Like 10 a.m. all the way until 8 p.m. at night, and we knock out 40 videos that day. And then, uh, so we either do that. And then Tuesdays, we have our admin meetings where, like, we, we meet with um, our respective departments because we have all these channels that we have to run, whether it's, like, creative, you know, like, business or whatever. And then Wednesdays, we film again. And then Thursdays, we film again. And Mondays, we film again. So How did you get a lot of this stuff started? Was there some sort of investor or something? Or you just started going? It started with just webcam 
in a college dorm room. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, we uh, know. really started. Uh, Jim, here's where you cut that the... Wasn't, yeah, I wasn't yeah, involved yeah. yet. Yeah. yeah. Webcam. Yeah, webcam. What the hell? <laughs> Money was involved. Yeah, this was uh, 2007. It just slowly, slowly grew. Organically, yeah. Very cool. It, it went from like That's making $1,000 in like six months <coughs> to like $1,000 a month and then like $1,000 a week. It was just slow, gradual growth. How is it making money? Pretty good now. Uh, no, I mean, how, how does it make money? Oh, uh, so on YouTube, we put the videos up and then YouTube, they run ads against our videos. And then so we get a split of the ad revenue. Oh, so you're running cool. directly from from YouTube and not, f- uh, you know, AdSense, not not one of the networks. Oh, we're with a network we're with the a network. collective at this okay. moment. Yeah. Shout and out to collective. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, you know, we hear good stories and bad stories about those. Like, what's your experience with the networks? Yeah. It depends if they know your content or not and uh, your relationship with the rep. So we've been with the collective for this is our third year now. Uh-huh. And our first two year contract, they really didn't do shit for us. But we did do <laughs> two. We did. We did get two brand deals, one with uh, clear cell. And the other what's one was Scion. Brand deal, mean what's that? So brand deals will be like they'll they'll get these big uh, like Fortune 500 companies. They'll come. Clearsell, like the eye fucking thing, like uh, is it eye drops like or skin, something? Like pimple, oh, skin pimple stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, I wouldn't know about any face wash or something. I don't need it. <laughs> Whoa. So like these big companies will come down and they'll like, okay, we want to run an ad and hit this demographic, and they'll find a channel that can exactly hit that demographic, and they'll drop a large sum of money for you to make a custom video for them. So that's oh, cool. considered a brand deal. Yeah. Yep. And they're like one offs. <coughs> and then so we uh, they gave us a couple of brand deals, but it, it wasn't anything significant. And then finally, I think they started to understand our content a little bit more and they knew how to push us. And then there's, uh, they got a few other people from other companies that I guess were <coughs> that came on. that are already fans. Right. And then so now we have some huge advocates on our side that are constantly pushing us. So in year three and year four, things are looking pretty good. Anyone who's listening to this, basically the gist of it is this is some pretty <laughs> serious shit. <laughs> And you guys work on this how many hours a week? You think 50, 60, 70? I mean, oh, shit. it's probably kind of nonstop. Even yeah. when you're not working, you're probably still working. Yeah, pretty much. Probably like 50 or 60 right. hours yeah. in, a, in, a, in a course of four or five days. And then what's the deal with the clothing line and stuff, the Barbo Brigade uh, stuff that you guys are doing now? What's, what's kind of the end goal with that and how did that get started? You want to well, talk about that? Um, well, I mean, well, that actually started uh, before we even opened up the gym. We were like, okay, well, um, we want to keep the gym private. We don't want any sort of investors involved in any of this because it, it's going to get all messy. So we were like, we're super broke. What are we going to do to get money? Um, so then we're like, hey, we can start a clothing line. And that, that's kind of how start it Start webcamming. <laughs> yeah. I know. The we roots. went the wrong way. Like the bastard. Um, yeah, we Just started a bit that. Of components. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. A Show lot of components. Com- yeah. Um, yeah, and then we, we started that route, and then uh, now uh, we're trying to develop it and just make it like its own like streetwear, fitness-inspired street brand. Um, Where can people get it? At barbellbrigade.com. So, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> so confusing. So yeah. what about the uh, real pass? So YouTube is kind of what you do, work, gym, film, lift. But like, where's your, uh, where'd you start? Where you grow up, Bart? I grew up uh, – so before I was 15, I grew up in a city called Cerritos. And then afterwards, I grew up in the city called Monterey Park. All L.A. area, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all, all Southern California, L.A. And what was a childhood Bart like? Playing sports, lifting weights? Horrible kid. Doing nothing? <laughs> Burning buildings. So during, during the time um, where, where, I, where I grew up and during that era, it was like hugely gang infested in the, uh, in the L.A. area. So I, I got into a lot of trouble, got expelled from a lot of schools, and uh, that was kind of like my past. But you're so nice. Yeah, I'm a really nice guy, actually. <laughs> but you were just a dickhead back then. <laughs> well, what happened was, like, all what the so back then, gangs were so, I guess, uh, prevalent that the cool kids at school weren't the jocks. They were the thugs. So uh, when I was, like, up till when I was 15, I lived in Cerritos. And so that was what the cool thing was. So everyone wanted to become a thug and do crime. And then I was into that whole scene. And then when I, mo- when I got kicked out of school and I, and I moved in with my dad in, in another part of L.A., that's when I saw – because Cerritos is actually a middle-class community – when I moved to El Monte, that's when I realized, okay, these guys are real gangs. I was just like play thugging. <laughs> this shit is fucking real. So I was like, right. I, I want out because the gangs that were going around at that time. Um, how, how old were you when you're? This is when I was like 15 or 16. But okay. the, the gangs that were going around at that time, if they wanted to do a drive by, let's say, at your house, at, at Mike's house, if Mike wasn't there. Is that because I'm white? No, 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 no. I'm just. Oh, all right. They'll just you shoot your. put it at anyone. There was. There was <laughs> there's only white, white people, people in, in this here. room. <laughs> But like, let's say they want to uh, do a drive-by at your house. Yeah. If you're not there, to just shoot your grandma. 
Oh wow! Yeah, so yeah. that that's like the 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 type so the of gang culture back the back then had more integrity and yeah. like you know when he moved you're a classy like, ganger yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I the, the gang culture <laughs> that I that I found out in this other part of the city I was like this shit is like war it's like right. third world country type shit yeah. so I was like I, I that's did you have me. a gun I had a gun before yeah god damn that's some crazy were shit. you also in the military or my way off. Oh, that's that's later on. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. when I was well, like, okay, not I'm, when a, you're I'm 15. A, I didn't think you were a marine, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Later 15 on, 15 yeah. marine. Yeah. So a, then after that, <laughs> that's a webcam marine show. Um, <laughs> 15 and marine. Yeah. Uh, check out my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. That's weird. Sorry, Gio. Uh, when you were uh, when you, you were younger, now. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> when you were younger, uh, growing up in that environment, were you angry? I think I was. I mean, I came from a broken home too, and then I'm the only child, so I think I didn't get the type of attention that I wanted, and I didn't get pushed. I think like when you're at that age, you just want to belong in a culture. Right. And then I think if you had a positive upbringing, you, you'll get pushed into academic, the academic culture, athletic culture, or maybe like skate culture, something to kind of like identify yourself with. Right. But I didn't really have that. So it's easy to just fall into like delinquency. Do you have uh, any sort of any of that aggression in you now that, <laughs> that gets distributed in different ways? I guess only when I lift. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I guess I'm a. Uh, Intense lifter? I don't know. Yeah, were you a hothead? He's, he's throwing up? intense for sure. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I found the same. Like, I was a huge hothead. But well, look, then, like, like Kobe, going to Kobe lifting. Bryant, you know, is not out shooting people, but yeah. he's on a crazy court. motherfucker. Yeah, he's you know, on like the court. He, he's he a wants to destroy, like, his opponent. You know what I mean? He's a like, basketball oh, player. They put the he's, ball he's, through he's, the rim. It's not ping pong. It's not bowling, but it's what we do in America. Somewhere in between. <laughs> but you see a lot of people do that. They take their aggression or their, their passion or whatever it is, and they, they are able to kind of pour it and channel their energy into more positive things. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, back what, to the better of the half. How would you start, Gio? Oh, shit. What's the, I'm, the I'm, childhood? Dude, my, my childhood is super boring and vanilla compared to his. Like, just regular Why vanilla? Kid. Why, why have all flavors? Because it's plain. It's oh, just, okay. it's, it's and delicious. It's she likes, and she delicious. likes us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now. No, I mean... Um, she announced she's moving to Sacramento. Sorry, Bart. You're gone. <laughs> you're out. Oh, you're shit. off the team. Sorry. Um, yeah, no, nothing <laughs> crazy with me. Grew up in East LA, but my mom and my dad were like, dude, you're not... I mean, we have a house here, but you're not growing up here. So they made me grow up in... Uh, Monterey Park, same area as him. Um, surrounded by nothing but Asian people. Um, <laughs> I, you know, just did graduated. everybody always think you were Asian? <laughs> yeah, for the most Pretty part. Pretty much. Yeah, for the most part. Um, I graduated high school, didn't do anything crazy. I didn't have any crazy aggression. I didn't join any gang. Um, went to college. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it. Like, yeah, what did you go to school do, for? Um, I went to school for business. I graduated in marketing. I'm doing none of that right now. Uh, well, so you're kind of doing some of that. <laughs> Business, yeah. yeah. All of it. In marketing, kind of. like like in what all of us do, like what you do is marketing, right? You market true. yourself, you market your true. YouTube. Yeah. You're yeah, up yeah. here marketing even though we're your friends. True, like this true. is all true. You're, you're doing it. I, I guess I am, but uh, whatever they taught me and whatever I paid for, um, none of that. Mainly you're stuff. a pain in the ass though, but Yeah, and I'm awesome at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's well, congratulations. Your job thanks. is to be a pain in the ass? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, thanks. Get paid for it. No, yeah, why not? <laughs> B A P I A. Bart, what uh age were you when you started making different choices? Um, so I think, uh, when I graduated high school, I didn't even really graduate. I picked up my diploma in the summer when I was 18. And, um, at that time, since I'm the only child, I was like, damn, I'm such a fuck up. I feel so bad for my parents because they only have one child and he got kicked out of so many schools. Right. They must feel like their ovaries and sperm just created the worst loser in the world. <laughs> so the Asian guilt kicked in. Yes. Exactly. And okay. then so I was like, oh shit, I got to like at least do something where they can attend some kind of ceremony. That's, so that's when I joined the Marine Corps. And then when I graduated boot camp, my parents came down and they were just both crying. And they're divorced, so they're sitting on different sides of the bleachers, but they're right. both crying. And I was like, oh, shit. And I was crying, too. And I was like, All right, I got to change my life. That's yeah. cool. How long were you? Uh, I was in the serving. reserves for six years so I could, like, finish school and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I was in the reserves six years. Yeah. What would you go to school for? Originally, it was pre-men. I was doing the whole uh, traditional Asian route. Oh, trying to check balls. Yeah, <laughs> balls and, yeah, and that's it. balls and sack. The doctors do <laughs> ball check, and then uh, cough. And then I, I fell in love yeah, with comedy like halfway through, through the webcam. Yeah, 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 comedy. Yeah, wink, wink. Yeah, that was a real joke. Yeah, that <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> so at some point along the way, you said I feel funny, and with the comedy, like like I think like I can do this. This is resonating with people. It or? wasn't even so like I wasn't even conscious of it. It was. So this is when YouTube first came about, and then yeah. my friend Joe, who is my current partner now, he sent me this video. Partner, how do you feel about that, Gio? I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> yeah, life partner. Mm, yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't like that. He sent me this video uh, where he records only half the bottom half of his face, and he drew eyeballs like right here, 
and he talks about how like he's like really sad <laughs> and then so i thought it was hilarious and at that time i thought it was just like uh myspace but with video so you just yeah. share with your friends right, right so i made a funny video to send to him and i linked some of my friends and then like over a course of a week it got 800 views and we're like holy shit like we, we don't even have 800 friends right so there's other people viewing it and people are asking for more so we didn't even know what we're doing was called comedy we just thought we were just having fun so we're just like oh let's just make more stupid videos I and thought then, you guys were so stupid. When you guys <laughs> you're doing like, you know, the big companies call it like testing. You're like testing to see what works and what doesn't work. But yeah. you're just kind of finding it out your own way. Yeah. And we didn't it's even know. Yeah. And it just kept growing. And then people asked for more. And then we just tried different characters. And then it just kept growing. Um, just uh, back to the uh, gangsta mentality back in the day. <laughs> gangsta raps. Um, just uh, like I always <laughs> like to whenever we uh, whenever we have guests on the show that have had you know, any issues in the past or anything. I just like for people to kind of give a message to, you know, people out there that are lost or people that are, you know, fucking up now. And I don't know, what do you have to say to some of the, you know, young kid that's maybe your age doing some of the same shit you're doing? What would you say? What would you say to a young Bart Kwan? Ooh, that's a great I'd probably like uh, slap him and then tell him his life is good and be positive. So Asian, can you just talk and just use a little bit more logic? <laughs> <laughs> A slap works. What is that? A slap might work. No. Do you think you would uh, listen to somebody when you know, when you were uh, that age, when you were fifteen, and you were? Yeah, yeah I, I or think did you have to go through the mud to kind of find the? I think if it was, um, well, at the time, I think I w I'm the type of person that had to go through the mud because I actually had a a second cousin that was involved in a shooting that went to jail, but he didn't shoot the person, and then he came out, and then he actually lived with us at the time, and. Um, Kind of like he was just start self-studying, like he, all the good things he learned in jail about discipline and about like being able to read and study and all that. Like he, I would just see him come back home from adult school and he would just study all day. And I'm like, damn, this is a completely different person. And that should have taught me something, but I think I was just too dumb to, to even see it. Like I was just too young. Yeah, I was just, I was just. You're smart. Don't put yourself down, buddy. Yeah, thanks. You kind of had to go that route, I guess, huh? Yeah. So I know the the question everyone wants to know is, what kind of Asian are you? That's like a top secret. Oriental. Um, a delicious kind. Ooh. Mm. I Is agree. that true? Yeah. Super delicious. Mm. Huh? <laughs> 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 Wait, what? <laughs> Cam show? Yeah. Huh? Oh, Webcam? No. Yeah. Your your ethnicity is a secret. Yeah. Does Gio know? Gio knows. I have no idea. You're lying. Nadim know? Nadim doesn't know. <laughs> no one else knows, huh? No. Gio and your parents. And Joe. I hope his parents know. He's half Kung Maybe. Fu, half ninja. <laughs> oh, right. that's his yeah. mix. I can tell. No samurai? Mm, nah, not today. Oh, <laughs> not today. <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow, probably. Oh my God. Tomorrow. Wait, what kind of uh, vanilla are you? Uh, I'm Latin. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Let me hear some Spanish. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. And that's that was it. horrible. Yeah, that's it. And that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, that's how that's many uh, subscribers do you have on these different YouTube channels? Uh, what was? What's the combined? Do you have any idea? Combined? I don't. Uh, okay, so just kidding. Films. We have about I would say like 1. 4, 1. 5 mm -hmm. million. Uh, just kidding news, I think 1.2, 1.3 million. This is all just Chinese people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Our just kidding films is China subscribed. And yeah. then we have. So we're getting close to 3 million subscribers already. Yeah. And then just kidding party, we have about half a million. Ask the Feels, about 300,000. And then uh, just kidding gamer, I'm not too sure. That thing's just, we just relaunched it. Yeah. It's probably about 100,000. Do you uh, play video games? No. I know you said you're not really attached to that one, but no. not at all. Your, right. own, uh, your own channel has how many? That's kind of predominantly powerlifting, right? Yeah, now it's 400,000. So what it's about you, growing. Gio? It's been growing. Noice. I'm close to 300,000. Yeah. Yeah. I know that YouTube is l launching an app for gaming videos, like a separate app for gaming videos. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. That's who, smart. Who Instagrams harder? She uh, does. She I has way more that. followers on Instagram than I do. What, 200K or something? Madness? Something like that. No, uh, you know. Give us the number. <laughs> 222,547. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 221. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. She she uh, told me the secret earlier today. What is it? Taking pictures of people taking pictures. Oh, oh that's yeah. one of them. But I mean, everyone knows. Yeah, that's girls yeah. just have a That's meta following. as fuck yeah. right there. Why doesn't yeah. my booty get that following? <laughs> I don't know. You just don't know how to pop it the right way. Yeah. Maybe we can do a selfie class. You we should do a angles. seminar on how to take selfies. No, we should, uh, yeah, on yeah, camera. Yeah, I'm dead serious. Well, I Why mean, not? everyone knows guys and selfies, just, it, it doesn't work. Yeah, Mark. It just doesn't work no matter <laughs> what you do. <laughs> no. Unless you're part of the Shreds team. Dude, the, the hashtag oh, Shreds Life. You're part of us? Yeah. God damn. Hashtag Shreds Life? No? No, I don't know what that is. Shreds Gotta life. get the right angle, the right lighting. It's just yeah, the life we sure. live, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stress how, life. How are you able to build up uh, these YouTube channels to be? Because I mean, a lot of people, you know, want to try to build their shit up. And yeah, you know, everyone's hopping on the YouTube. Train. I mean, I know you said some of it was like organic, but is there anything? I don't know. Is there anything you did that was uh, different or fancy that uh, led led to this many subscribers? Yeah, I think the thing that we did, and I think a lot of people they go, "Oh, YouTube's really saturated now. It's really hard to grow." And I think that's actually bullshit. Because there's always channels that are just coming out of nowhere and they yeah. get a lot of subscribers really quickly. And I think it's real. Like Jenna Marbles back then was one of them. Like at, at that That's time. That's a blonde girl that like rambles. Yeah. yeah. Everyone yeah. thought everyone thought it was already saturated back then. But I think if you can make content that's true to yourself. True. Then you'll end up reaching all the other like minded individuals that are just like you. True. Right. So what and if there's only like 10 people like me? Then you'll have no, ten no, diehard sure. followers. That's what exactly. I'm talking about. Exactly. And and it's super basic and it's the super easiest thing that you can follow. But it, consistency is key. Like just be consistent, and that's where a lot of people fall off because they're like, okay, well, I'm going to do it for like three weeks. Oh, this is just way yeah. too much work. Drop off. And YouTube, like everyone's constantly uploading, so it's like it's easy to get lost. Do you guys have a method behind that? Like uh, how many upload per week per channel type thing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we do. It's crazy. Yeah. But you're we not going to share it. Well, so just kidding news. <laughs> just kidding news is kind yes. of like a machine. And uh, so we, we ain't sharing it with you. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding news. We upload five videos a day. So yeah, what the fuck? So that's yeah. 150 yeah, videos that's, a hundred and fifty. Yeah, that's uh, what's the what's the guy's name uh, that has the most followers on PewDiePie? PewDiePie. Yeah, he does like five or, or used to do like five or six a day, right? Yeah, yeah. he's fucking Jeez. crazy. Yeah. That one is. is that, he's is got he like a, a billion subscribers. Is he a video or some game shit? guy. Yeah. Yeah. What's the? Uh, you guys probably know all this. What's like the top? Uh, demo, not demographic, but like a category on YouTube. Is it like video games or is it comedy? Probably gaming. Com comedy's sure. pretty low, actually. Right. It's gaming. Comedy's above uh, fitness, though. Yeah. 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 I would say yeah. probably um, gaming and then probably beauty and fashion. Sure. Yeah, makeup yeah. and yep. shit. That's it. Yeah. When you are we guys... starting our fashion channel? Geo. Oh man, I'm like the worst. Really? I'm. You got style. I've seen your selfies. She has style. Yeah. It no, doesn't matter. It does Yeah, let's do it. I'll do it. We should. Uh, we should. <laughs> this is good. Now we're a partnership. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, Bart, you're out. We should do uh, clothing that both guys and girls can wear, like beyond just a shirt. Yeah. Like, like you and I. Yeah, yeah. Like you and I wear the exact same outfit. So the like clothes a, that Omar Isaf wears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's already got it. Shout That's out, Asma. Somebody That's needs good. to make that little sound now. I hate I, that guy. He's not even listening. He yeah. should listen to us. Uh, he, he would should. learn a lot. He, he should would. listen to something. Yeah. yeah. Other than himself. Preach. <laughs> oh, my God. Word to your mother. But that's not a bad idea, huh? That's not a bad idea. I'm down. Do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. I'm waiting for my hype. <laughs> yeah, you need that hype. Um, was the uh, discipline in the uh, Marines a, a shock to you when you went? Uh, it was. It I mean, yeah. did you think you're like hardcore when you went in? Did you think you're hard because you were in a gang and shit like that? Or. Ooh, was that chip already knocked off your shoulder? Did you wear Timberlands? Timberlands. You didn't that's wear Timberland Coast, boots? That's like an East Coast thing. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't I grow up Chucks. in L.A. Oh, it's, oh Chucks, 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 Cortez's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I wore Come Timberlands. I still, have, I still have them. I should have brought them. Reebok powerlifting shoes. Are you shoes. from the East? No. Where are you from? Like here, kind of. Oh, well, yeah. why were you saying Tim's then? I don't know. That's what I wore. I listened to like DMX and shit. He was like <laughs> stomping the fucking yard in Timberland. So Mike's, I Mike's got a lot of problems. Let's, <laughs> let's try not to talk. Like it. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. been looking uh, for somebody to identify yeah, with yeah, for yeah. a long, Bart, can we be long friends? time. <laughs> yeah, like uh, Save the Last Dance. Like I wore Timberlands. He was getting down in the club. That was me. Nice. That's the best soundtrack ever. He thought he was trying to be Asian, but he wasn't even trying to be that. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know what he's trying to be. I don't know. Yeah. Confusion. Save the last dance, though. Yeah. Good, right? Your references are so old school. That's why I think you're not 26. Yeah. Yeah, I started watching BET when I was in diapers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good channel. Yeah, yeah, not bad, right? Yeah, it's a great channel. Glad we agree. What was your question? I <laughs> <laughs> your discipline. What about AET? What is that? Asian. Oh. Yeah. Asian That's entertainment what they need. TV. That's what they need. That's what they that need. called the YouTube. Oh, yeah. true. Okay. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, no, he wanted to know if uh, <laughs> if your gangster life prepped you for marine life. Oh, no, I didn't. I mean, gangster Not life. Not prepped you, but like, did you think you were hard going in and they fucked you up when you went in or what? I think I was, was shock. I, I think I thought I was hard going into gangster life already. And then so it wasn't like one thing prepped me for another. I just felt like I was a certain type. Of, actually, OK, so I think I got my hardness from my parents because they used to beat the shit out of me. So when I first got jumped into the gang, I was like, you guys are pussies because my mom beats harder than you guys. I totally know what, what uh, uh, ethnicity you are now. I got it. Really? Yeah. Oh. The beating? Yeah, I got it. That's all of them. Yeah. Yeah, well, that yeah, is but, all of them. But there's w one in particular. <laughs> there, is, there, there's one, <laughs> there is one in particular. Statistically, there's one. There's one that oh, okay. stands up head and shoulders above the I didn't rest. know Go on. I didn't know that oh, either. Let us know. Go on. Okay, so, uh, so yeah. So, um, so I, got, I, had, I had a really hard uh, upbringing. 
And then the Marine Corps, though, the type of discipline or the type of uh, the way they like strip you down, it was it was pretty tough. Like the, the first month, it was constant. Like uh, you, you couldn't expect what was going to happen to wake you up at 3 a.m. in the morning and you jump in the shower for no reason. Then you run outside in the mud and you're training. So it's like 24 hours of training without any warning or caution of when it's going to start. And then so that kind of prepped you for anything. And then so I think like, I guess, uh, taking that mentality into college, college and everything else in life just became easier. But then now it's been so long gone and I'm comfortable. So I'm lazy now. Fat and lazy. <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> Wake you up at 3 a.m. And, and uh, hook you to the squat rack. Yeah. Make you do squats no, all day long. No, you're definitely not lazy. What's your oh. best numbers, Bart? What do you mean? Gym lifts or competition? Uh, like cheat up. raw or raw raw? Yeah, it doesn't matter. No oh. one cares. Uh, my best squat was probably four four fifty five. I think it was like two years ago. And then best bench is three sixty five for a double. Damn. And then uh, win about a buck ninety around there. Yeah. And then best deadlift was five forty five about two years ago. So with those numbers, he is uh, pretty much the with the amount of subscribers you have the most popular power lifter in the world. <laughs> I was guess maybe behind uh, what's uh, no no way strength uh, what's the guy's name? Oh, Holes. Yeah, Holes. No Fate. way. He has more, right? Does I don't think 500? so. Not combined. No, 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 not oh, combined. Not no, no. I'm just no. saying. I think I'm right under is. Eric Lillybridge. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's just crazy. Like his own channel yeah. with your own channel only. Yeah, Elliot Holes is the strongest. You like. Powerlifter guy. Well, Most I don't popular. Know if he's competed in powerlifting, but he's done yeah, strongman strong competitions. Yeah, he might have. He might have. I don't know if yeah, he's, 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 I mean, he's, he's lightweight, got, strong man. Yeah. I think. yeah, I guess I'm just talking about yeah, people yeah. that have competed in the strength yeah. world. Yeah, you know, yeah. it, yes. it's uh, it's amazing though because, you know, like um, you know, years ago, like the only thing you would see on YouTube is someone doing like a 900 pound squat and everyone would get all fired up. Yeah. But yeah. now it's like that's not as popular. People would rather get information or rather hear someone talk. A lot of times you're doing voiceover yeah, yeah, over yeah. top of your stuff. You're fucking around sometimes. Sometimes you're giving legitimate information. I think. That's what people are identifying with better than seeing someone just squat 900 pounds. Uh, it seems to me like it turned into a thing somewhere along the line where it was like, yeah, I mean, feats of strength are still a thing, but yeah. it's that personal connection, authenticity Absolutely. that you were talking about before. And that's it's hard to make a channel succeed if there isn't a face or two or three associated directly with it. And that's where people identify and that's why they keep coming back. Yeah, I actually read this article on the tube filter. And they're talking about the two types of relatability or like one was aspirational. Uh -huh. So that's like the rock. And then you see him and you're like, okay, like he's achieved so much. Right. He's right. fucking huge. And it's like, okay, I want to be like him one day. And then you have the relatable, which is like, okay, this guy's just Part like my one. brother. Or I know someone that that's kind of like this. Uh -huh. And it's almost like when nice you're, hair. when you're homie, yeah, squats when, 450. <laughs> it's Handsome. like when your when your homie gives you advice, you take it different, differently than if, like, The Rock or your parents give you advice. Right. You've gotten advice from The Rock? Mm -mm, only through <laughs> his IG. Oh, 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 okay. So I think on YouTube, that's what they're looking for, that relatability where it's like, okay, this guy's just slightly ahead of me. That's why someone as weak as me, like, can have more followers. And then they're like, okay, this guy's just slightly as uh, – he's slightly yeah. ahead of me. And I can I can actually learn something from him versus someone that's too far ahead, like Klokov. And then they're like, oh, wait, this guy is, like, too crazy – He's a god. I don't even. I yeah. can't even do that. I don't even understand what he's saying. Like, where do I start from? You think Omar's uh, relatability is because he looks like a Kardashian? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the lost Kardashian. <laughs> the he's Canadian. pretty, man. I, don't, I never want to take a picture with him because I'm like, pretty. what the hell? Yeah, the Canadian his hair Kardashian. in the morning. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> we have. Oh, my God. Why does he wear so a stringer all the time? <laughs> like, I thought it was for videos. And then we, uh, when he we were lives visiting. He those stringers. Yeah, when we were visiting you guys in L.A., we bunked Nipple together. Nipple slip. Yeah, and he walks out like his hair is like all fucking natted and shit. He comes out in a stringer. That's what you have to do. Did he wear a stringer no for caps. the podcast? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he's part of Team Nokia. He's the captain. Yeah. That's why no team caps, no caps. You got to show so, something else. So weird. It's balance. Got to show the nipples. What are your numbers, Gio? Oh man. In the gym, meet. That doesn't matter. No one cares. I, I, I'm still a work in progress. Um, we all are. Uh, two twenty-five squat, um, one ten bench, and like three oh three deadlift. Being six foot six, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good yeah, squat though. Like it's hard when you're tall. Yeah. Long. Yeah. Um, you've uh, competed uh, like what a couple months ago, right? Uh, I competed in October. Was that your first competition? Uh, that was my second competition. That was oh, a okay. second competition, and she was coming back from a back injury. Yeah, I so was for out her for to a break the three hundred mark on the deadlift was a huge deal for her. Yeah. What is uh, powerlifting uh, doing for you? Like what? Like what attracted you to it? I guess. 
Um, initially, when, when I was working, or when I started, work, okay, so I'll, I'll start back. Um, I was an athlete. I played volleyball, and I never really got into, like, any type of weight training other than, like, whatever our coaches wanted us to do, like dumbbells Burpees or Burpees or something? Yeah, really you random You just didn't shit. Know, know much about it, or it wasn't no, your I, thing, sort of? Or? Um, well, I mean, I had that, that idea that, like, if you lift weights, you get big, and right. I didn't want that, which is really stupid. I was completely ignorant. And, and then, powerlifting was for white people. Well, it's not day. stupid. It's so. just if you don't know something, Fat you don't know white people. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, that yeah, turned so pink when they lift. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mark Smelly Bell. <laughs> yeah. So then, um, you know, I got together with Bart, and he's, like, super into fitness, was doing right. the bodybuilding thing. And I'm like, oh, okay, I, I don't want to get strong like that. I don't want to look any certain type of, type of way. I just want to do the cardio bunny type thing. Right. Stuck with that. And he's like, honestly, you should just work out with me. Um, he started doing more CrossFit, like, wads. And, and then he, he ran Wadding into out. Yeah, he was doing what? I did all kinds of shit. Like, uh, I started playing basketball, and I was like, how can I jump higher? And I would, like, look up, okay, cleans, and then box jumps. And yeah. So, like, for me, like, working out was just a means to become more athletic. And then you drag Geo along. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we used to do all much. kinds of weird, crazy shit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I pretty bet. much. <laughs> <laughs> On camera, off camera. <laughs> Webcam. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, buddy. Hey, now. Yeah, so he uh, basically became my coach. I just trusted him with my fitness. And then um, we, we really got into – he got into powerlifting. He started getting me into that. And then I like being that female that doesn't do very femmy things. Like, I like to be pretty capable, and I like to do things that usually girls don't do. That's why right. you wear a strap on all the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, thing's yeah. crazy. Dude, Thanks for putting I that on, by the way. I feel powerful, for yeah. sure. You look powerful with that thing on. <laughs> I, it's kind of frightening, actually. Yeah, so when he got me into that and I started seeing what my body was capable of and I wasn't like becoming a man because then I realized, okay, well, to get muscle Until you started cycling a couple months ago. Anavar. Yeah. Anavar, yeah. 20, 20 gallons. 20, 20 gallons. <laughs> yeah, 20 gallons a day. Take a bath in it. <laughs> 20 gallons every other day, actually. Every other day. Yeah, every, right yeah, every other day. Yeah. It's my bad. Um, yeah, and I mean, it, and it was great. I felt like super confident. I started getting muscle, which I never had because I was like skinny fat like my whole life. And I was just like, dude, I feel super capable. I don't need men ever again. And then that's when the strap on came in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what was the first muscle that you saw that you're like, oh wow, I like this muscle? Yeah, girls here. flex oh, way was, more than guys. It was, huh? it was here. Well, it was my oh, lat. Oh. Yeah, it was my lat, and like I felt something sticking out. I was like, what the hell is that? The fuck is that? Yeah, and then Bart's like, dude, that's a muscle. <laughs> I was yeah, like, hell yeah, I'm, I'm coming up in life. Did that uh, that kind of training um, was it a lot different than you said you were a cardio bunny? Did yeah. it change your body a lot just going from – because a lot of people think like, oh, if I just don't – like women, I think a lot of times they, they don't eat or they won't yeah. eat breakfast and they'll try to starve themselves here and there and they kind of have these weird uh, weird style of diet because they don't know what to eat sometimes and they're doing tons of cardio. Yeah. And they're not really getting results. Is there a big difference? Um, well, at the time – well, so when we got together, we were like actually pretty fat. Because uh, we would just eat whatever we wanted. Pretty fat. No, I like we that. were we were lean, and then we both gained like twenty pounds the first. That months. happens a lot with couples, yeah. Because yeah, you go and together. you hit up That's every right. restaurant, and the relationship twenty. She yeah, was one fifty, and then she got up to like one eighty five. I was never one fifty when we met. I was not one fifty. What were you like one thirty five? Yeah. So she. Gained, I, like, I would personally pounds. like to see at about two bills would be perfect. <laughs> Who me? Yeah, two hundred. Oh, no way. Two hundred even. <laughs> no way. No way. Why not? Ninety eight. Maybe You'd be so jacked. Yeah, and I kept doing the cardio bunny thing. I wasn't, I wasn't properly dieting. I didn't know anything about diet. I just knew, okay, if I don't eat that much, um, I, how can I gain weight? So it was just horrible eating habits. Um, what, 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 uh, what was your favorite food? Like, did you have kind of go-to foods then, or uh, candy? Yeah, that's yeah. All, right. all I would eat. It was just candy all the time. It was I remember, like, uh, you know, coaching high school kids and stuff, and like some of the girls and stuff. I'd, I'd ask them like what they ate for like lunch, and they didn't have any breakfast, and all they had was like a couple of French fries at like lunch. Oh shit! Maybe yeah. maybe some milk, and like that was it. Like, yeah. they, French they, fries they, and milk. They didn't want to eat. They didn't want to eat like a burger because they thought the burger was fat. But meanwhile, they're eating French fries. It's like yeah. yeah. And then by the time they got to like dinner or something, they're hungry, so they're gonna you know just kind of engorge on whatever the hell they yeah. get their hands yeah. at that point. Yeah, that's exactly what was happening with me. Um, and then um, I, I started learning more about, like, just eating nutritional food. Like, you know, I was eating oatmeal, and then I had my protein. And I'm like, oh, shoot, like, you actually get energy from these things? Mm -hmm. What the hell? And if you eat properly and you consistently, better, yeah. like, you feel better, you look better, you're actually losing weight. And I'm like, what the hell? This is crazy science. What is this? <laughs> Um, and it was actually fueling my lifts. And I'm like, dude, I don't feel like crap every time I'm trying to work out. I actually have energy. Um, and it was just, it was great. It felt really good. That's cool. Um, what kind of diet are you following? Right now, I'm just tracking macros. Uh, I think my calories, I'm on a cut right now. I'm trying to lean out a little bit. And I'm at uh, 2,600 calories right now. Ouch. Do you uh, count your calories and stuff as well? Yeah, I'm also tracking. I'm at uh, 1,800 right now. 
yeah. Do you guys have anybody helping you with that, or just you just kind of? Um, I'm, I know enough to do it myself, but then I'm trying to like help Cyril with his. Uh, he he's Cyril's uh, one of our staff at Barlow Brigade. He's trying to start like a nutrition coaching thing. Okay, so cool. I'm just letting he's him. He's also like six eight. So yeah, yeah so I'm just letting him take control of my macros, and I'm just gonna do everything Same. that he tells me to do. Yeah. Same. We're like his test rats right now. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's easier when someone's telling you what to do. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And and you feel more accountable because now you don't want to let someone else down. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What are your uh, workouts like nowadays? I work out four days a week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, because that's it. Just it just uh, fits perfectly around my work schedule. Mondays are uh, lower body days, and then Wednesdays upper body. Friday is lower body, and then Saturday is uh, oh, bodybuilding. Building. Fluff and puff. Fluff why and puff. is the puff. why is the bench so high? Like, like, have you been bench pressing since you were a kid or something? Did you start lifting earlier? He's got some big arms. I mean, 365 for two reps is, is fucking good. Yeah. I think uh, because back in the day when I first started lifting, all I did was bench and curl. Oh, it wasn't uh, the slingshot. I like that. It was the slingshot, oh, actually. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I was trying to God get at. damn it. The slingshot really helped my squat get up, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, go. good. Glad to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not catching on to the hit. You just, you yeah. just hit all the uh, stuff you can hit, you can see in the mirror. You hit all those exercises up back in the day. Well, back in the day, I just had like a little big five you know, work workout set, and then my dad would spot me, and I would just bench and then Damn, curl. Working out at home, yeah. I like that. Does your dad really? lift at all? Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. Did your I'm dad lift at all, or uh, no, not at all. Yeah. One one time, my dad's brother came to go visit, and he would see me like this skinny little fifteen year old kid, like, and I was like repping, I think like one seventy on the bar, and then uh, he would come and he thinks, okay, since I'm like this little Asian kid, he's like, I could definitely do this, and he gets on it, and I unrack it for him, and it, it just comes down to his chest and just caves out. You stapled nice. your uncle? Yeah, I just started laughing. I was like, that's what you get, motherfucker. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Take that, I bitch. Love that. <laughs> that's awesome. What got you into lifting? Actually, it was all the older homies, so they all got out of jail, and they're all yoked, and then so it was like, <laughs> it was it was like our version of shooting pool or playing basketball, but everyone or just ping lifted. Pong. Or ping-pong. Or yeah. ping-pong. Everyone yeah. just lifted, so. So, uh, biceps, chest, and then ping-pong. It was like the, the Cali muscle workouts. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's jacked as fuck. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's fucking jacked. <laughs> we saw him at the uh, San Jose Fit Expo this weekend. Or is last he nice? Yeah. He's ripped, yeah. too. Yeah, he's cool. He's nice. ripped, too. I've never met him. Yeah, he's fucking huge. Yeah. How tall is he? Five nine? No, I think shorter. I think he's shorter than me. Oh hmm. damn! Yeah, he's, yeah, he's wide as a fucking house. He's yeah. he's untall, but he's jacked. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> How tall are you, Bart? Probably like five nine. Yeah, there. same as these. Five, five nine. nine, handsome. Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Too many winks. Too yeah. Many winks. yeah. <laughs> no, no, not for that oh, one. No, no hype for the man love. No, no. Have you guys uh, noticed uh, like a spike in sales from Barber Brigade stuff when you post videos and stuff like that? Oh yeah, it's like direct. Uh, it's like direct traffic from videos or Instagram posts. Yeah. And you're not necessarily like on the videos. You're not really talking about this stuff. You're just wearing it. You're just squatting and deadlifting it, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, it always helps when you directly say, "Hey, if you want to get the shirt, go ahead and yeah, get the shirt." Off it or always yeah. helps. Um, but yeah, you don't want to be that guy either. But, but not too much. I you think don't want to be the guy that's always talking about like sling shots. And stuff. I think the culture on. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think the culture you can't on overdo it. <laughs> the culture on YouTube, it's more organic. So if they see you thoroughly enjoying it then they already have a tendency to go get whatever you're getting. For sure. They call you out on your bullshit. Like, if w- yeah. whenever we get, like, a brand deal, they're like, dude, you're trying way too hard. Like, why are you trying to sell us this shit? Like, don't do that. Like, like, the oh, first time I bad. promoted a Quest bar, people got pissed. And I was like, yeah. I actually really like Quest bars, and I buy them on my own. Yeah. And it was it was an awesome opportunity yeah. for them to sponsor us. Well, I feel like so. the culture in fitness is, you know, maybe 90s, early 2000s, is uh, whoever's saying, like, this protein shake, you know, they pay their bills. Right. This gets me jacked. So then yeah. when, when you actually like something, like I rock this hat all the time, uh, you Thank know, you. I, I rock these shoes or whatever, the Reebok shoes, like, like, yes, I am with Reebok now, but I wasn't for the past two years. If I honestly didn't like the shoes, I'd tell Mark to fuck off and, I, and I'd wear the shoes that felt comfortable, but I wear those shoes, you know, and that's, it's hard. It's hard to promote something you like because people yeah. do think you're full yeah. of shit. Yeah. 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 And we, we try not to do that. I yeah. mean, we almost never do that. YouTube right. is right. really oh, Quest bars. Too. I mean, you yeah, know, there's so many different options of flavors. I, I think, you know, just about anybody's going to find a few flavors that they like for of sure. Quest bar. Yeah. And not to like do a commercial for them, but we'll do a commercial for them anyway. <laughs> they're, they're low in calories. I mean, so yeah. anybody who needs a little bit of protein, you know, and it's what, 200 calories in most of them about? Yep. A lot of other bars have more like 300. You the know, biggest value it fits I find everybody's it j- fits everybody's like macros uh, pretty well. Yeah, the biggest value I find is also the fiber that it has because <laughs> a lot of times 
All right, people, you people, fart don't, machine. No, people don't. People don't get enough fiber in their diet, and yeah, there's like seven no. grams of fiber in there. So if you eat at least yeah. two of them, that's 14 grams right there. We He's heard for uh, sure the poop machine. For we, sure. We heard <laughs> furious uh, Pete, the homie. Oh yeah, ate 150 like, of them. Yeah, in, in a day. one sitting. In a day. Oh. oh. Either way. Still a fuck ton, oh. dude. What his he eat, poor butthole. Ounces of steak or something. His poor butthole. Furious. That's pretty good. Yeah. Are you the topics. soundboard for JK? Uh, no, just uh, for what myself. Is, uh, <laughs> what is all this stuff you guys are doing? Um, what What are some cool things that it's led to? Like, I think you were in, like, fucking China or something, like, a month ago or something. <laughs> I've never been no, where, where, where I were just you? saw the video. Where, where were, were you? Mal- Malaysia. Oh, yeah, Malaysia. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck were you eating? Uh, I screen. think the video just came up in the last week. I was watching that. It looked like an alien. Oh, durian. Yeah, what oh, the, the fuck durian. is that? I've was never it? heard of that in my life. It's They were horrible. eating this weird... Gummy Spiky looking thing, pineapple, right? yeah. but it looked like a, he was eating an alien. He's that like, "This is, is we terrible." We should have them horrible. eat durian. Those things are horrible. I've never okay. even heard of that. Is so that an ima- Asian thing? Imagine this yeah. fruit. It's disgusting. With pumpkin consistency that tastes like garlic and gasoline, and <laughs> smells like sold, and smells like shit. Literally, but, but then you eat it, and it's so pungent and repulsive, but you can't stop eating it. It's really weird. Because it's good? And, and or some places in Asia, you're banned from eating it in certain areas because it, it smells so oh, bad. A lot of hotels won't even let you bring it in. Yeah, it's what? disgusting. Wow. Does it this taste? Shit, this shit smells so bad, you can't bring it in. That's Does great. it like, taste totally different than it smells? Yeah, because it, it smells like shit, but it tastes like garlic and gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's I a like, hell of yeah. a combo. And you can't stop eating it. And it has why. anabolic properties, or why are you eating it? Is that? it healthy? Yeah. Um, I, I did some research on it, and then uh, what I found out is it's super high in calories, and then it has a super high. Um, damn, what count was it? It was like some fucking weird mineral. Is it fermented or some shit? No, oh, it's okay. fresh, but it's like a what was the mineral? It wasn't iron. Yeah, potassium or some shit. Some high end, some yeah. crazy. It, it's it's one of those foods like if someone was if you found them passing like passed out and starving, if you gave them this food, it revitalize them immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super high it in calories. Smells like shit. Can you spell it for me? Uh, D U R I A N. Yeah. You could probably use it for nose torque if you really wanted to. For yeah, sure. it's just hard. And it's that's disgusting. what they look like. Yeah. That thing. It looks so weird. It How does big look is it? Like it looked pretty big, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like it's this natural. Big. Like a pineapple. It's natural. It's natty. What? Yeah. 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 Damn. It's pretty crazy. Like, what makes you think that you can even consume that, it's right? H- it's high in something that I read. Distinctive odors, strong and penetrating, even when the husk is intact. <laughs> yeah, the place in your video, it looked like you were at like a, what is it called, durian? It looked like you were at like a durian bar. <laughs> like that, that's exactly that, what it that's was. all they had. Families yeah. go there and then they just cut one open and they just eat it together. And, and, and everyone just in the back of each other's cars and shit to fuck with people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a stink bomb. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is that smell? That's yeah. so weird. Various are described as rotten onions, turpentine, and raw sewage. <laughs> Can you buy it here <laughs> in America? Yeah, you probably have to go to you one can. of those Asian supermarkets. Uh, I don't oh, think I've ever I know had. What those are. I don't think it, it's fruit. Out in I think so. Out in Rancho Cordova. I don't think I've ever the international foods market. I didn't I've know that. ever seen. You but down by uh, they probably Baker's have. Donuts. Have you seen Baker's Donuts? No, what no. is on that? On Instagram, so it's just like a fancy, you know, boutiquey, whatever. Around there, there's a bunch of Asian folks. I'm sure we could find one. You probably you guys can. should do a durian challenge because so it'd be gross. so perfect. Because you guys are white people eating durian. Oh my god! Well, I'm Viral literally video. might throw up. Listen to me. Probably. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, we could do it. Well, let's do it. Let's do it you tomorrow. You have to do it. I'm I'll, not doing it. I'll buy some. No, you're white. <laughs> I'm not. You white. count. I'm Mexican all day. I'm I'm, I'm just as white that. as you. <laughs> it's just really weird to have a fruit that like stinks. You know, like they like yeah, oranges even, smell good. Pineapple but, smell good. But, Apple doesn't have much of a smell. Yeah, I was gonna say even oranges and, and peaches or whatever. They're like the taste is way stronger than the smell. You you like faintly smell orange and then you eat it and it's pretty flavorful. What's weird is there's a ton of spikes on there. So gross. And it's almost like God telling you don't eat this. Right, right, right. But people are eating it. Yeah, like the the glowing frogs. Like if those things bite you or whatever, you fucking die because it's glowing. You know it's bad. Don't yeah. fuck with yeah. it. Yeah, it but glows in the dark. Asian people are crazy. Yeah, they There's don't they don't believe in God. They so don't care. It's like a no <laughs> trespassing sign. That so they don't give a shit. It. Yeah, ignore. <laughs> fuck God's creation. Anyway, We're gonna back, eat everything. <laughs> back to my motherfucking question. Oh, true. Where has all this stuff led you guys to? Anything cool? Anything exciting? Like, or anything exciting coming up? Or are you guys just a bunch of bums? Or led us to meeting you, which is really yeah, cool. Yeah, hey, yeah absolutely. Yeah. That's really cool. Hug, kiss. Yeah. Hug. Whoa, whoa. No, not so real. Gross. It's just a fake one. This really is on hugging. video. He not a lot of people watch it, but. You oh, grabbed my gyno and milk just shot out. <laughs> <laughs> what were you talking about? Girls eating uh, milk and french fries? Yeah. Well, why? I don't know. What's that combination? I don't know. A Wait, lot of what, high school. How did gyno make you think of girls He just said milk? Bart milked them. Yeah, oh, okay. milk squirted out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gyno, squirted. you just said Mark has gyno. That's rude. <laughs> no, he <laughs> said he had gyno. That was absolutely I got to hold it in place now. <laughs> now that you guys brought it up. Thanks. 
<laughs> just dragging on the floor. Mm-hmm. Yep. My that nipples was just rude, Gio. hanging that was down thing by you've my ever belly said. button. No, it's not. I think I one of the other should. one of the other coolest things is uh, because of YouTube and like new new media, we we've been able to travel a lot. So during the spring, um, I do a lot of uh, college shows. So I've been able to travel like all over the nation, and then we've we've done a couple international shows like Australia, Malaysia. Oh well, yeah, what's the deal with that stuff? You went to like Boston and stuff, and and did some stuff over there. What, what were you doing? Uh, so we have like a, our live comedy set, and it's kind of like have you guys ever watched Kim Peel or like Dave Chappelle? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, he comes out on you're stage. The, you're the Asian Dave Chappelle. Kind of. Hey, whoa, whoa! He's not saying that. Oh. Maybe a little lower, but A-E-T. less <laughs> drugs, <laughs> less drugs. <laughs> yeah, so we go we go on stage and we do like some improv stand up stuff. Then we we screen a couple of skits and then we come back out and we screen a couple of skits. How do I get involved? Sign me up. There's you a waiting list. Fun. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a tryout? Yeah, like Saturday Night Live type thing, right? Yeah, yeah so it's just in front just of a like live audience kind of deal. That's just awesome. Like that. Yeah, that's awesome. And then every uh, every spring, that's when we get booked the most. So we do all these like college tours. Well, not only that, I mean, they go out and it's super improv. So every show that you see, it's like a brand new experience every single time. And I think it's amazing because the chemistry him and Joe have is just like when I go up on stage with them, I'm just like, dude, I'm going to step over to the side because you guys are like super couple up here. And I there's no way I can cut through the Kinda energy. like you and Omar Asmuth. Yeah, uh, I don't really like that guy, though. Um, <laughs> That's literally just for camera. But what's really dope is they really connect with the youth and they say, hey, you know what, like ultimately the message is just pursue your passions and that's like something that i'm always inspired by when i hear them talk on stage i'm like dude this is this is beautiful like i wish you guys came to my college and talked because it's like someone that looks like me that's telling me that i you know i can make my you do not true. look like asian <laughs> part i don't <laughs> get it I, mean. I don't really get it that's, that's our motto teaching good things in a bad way so like oh. we're, we're kind of like yeah. our, our our content is kind of like uh, edgy but then we always try to tie it up with a lesson at the end. How many people are on stage? You said there's whatever. Just two. Mainly two, yeah. yeah mainly yeah. two. Sometimes, occasionally, I'll go up there, but I try not to because I just I have a few. Do you guys just uh, just talk also, or is it mainly just skits? Uh, we talk. It's it's like split fifty fifty. So okay. if we have a thirty minute set, we'll like talk improv, stand up for like fifteen minutes, and then fifteen minutes of skits. You ever come to UC Davis up here? We haven't gotten no. to Davis. Tons no. of Asians. A lot of Asians. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody nobody at UC Davis cares about JK. Oh. No, no I'm sure they do. Us. Not even joking. There's a lot of Asians. Well, yeah. what what is your your like demographic demographics across the country look like in terms of the different channels? All Asians. And it, well, and like well, what, what parts? Of, what parts? Of yeah, the there's country? not a lot of Asians Ge- in the Midwest. The geography. Um, I think um, I think our biggest demographic is California, New York, and Texas. Yeah. yeah. And the other ones are just kind of like yeah. averaged out. And yeah. then how about worldwide? You guys. All the English-speaking countries, because yeah. comedy, UK, yeah. yeah, U.S., yeah. Australia, Singapore, Singapore. Malaysia, Let's go to Australia. Asia. Let's do a, a super brigade tour to Australia. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Yeah, Brisbane, Melbourne. I so like that sound of that super brigade. When you go yeah, to the, not bad, uh, huh? yeah. we'll cool. talk. When you go to the uh, the colleges and stuff, you guys are like inspiring these these kids and, and yeah. talking that way as well as doing the skits. Usually, shattering their dreams first. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll tell them like, okay, so uh, the college is a fucking waste of time. Yeah, yeah. To they drop always out, say that. Drop out now. They always say that. Like every yeah. college show they go to, they Did say, to when college? I go to college, yeah. waste oh. of time. And I don't do anything that I that yeah. I that I learned in college. And one one quote I just came across that I really liked it's uh, by Mark Twain, and he says. Don't let school get in the way of your education. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. Sweet. So now I'm going to start preaching that. You and Mark Twain. God damn. Yeah. Well, awesome. it's cool that you're, you're actually going out with a message instead of just, you know, just doing comedy and just, yeah. you know, just bringing their paycheck and walking off campus. And There's a lot of lost kids out there. So we're yeah. Just to help yeah. Them out. Especially around that age, it's hard to kind of figure out what the hell you want to do. Yeah. For sure. And then even after college, is even worse. For sure. Yeah. That, that was me. That was me growing up. I, I was like. My parents are super traditional. They're like, you're going to follow this path. You go to school, get your degree. You Work know, at Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah mow, mm. mow some lawns and then get Fake married. Fake-ass Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> Taco <laughs> Bell. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, and I thought that was the path, and I thought that was the only path, and I had no idea. And thanks to YouTube, it just like opened up my eyes that you can just be an entrepreneur and do what you want to do, and you know, if you hustle hard and you're consistent. All um, started with cam shows. Look yeah, at you two there now. You go. Yeah. Webcam. Yeah. Change my life. Hashtag webcam. Have ca- uh, webcam and strap-ons. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully nobody remembers those webcam days. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm sure a bunch of weird videos are going to pop mm-hmm. up now. Like, I remember Bart's first video. And you're fucking doing sure something stupid in your dorm room. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> no, maybe not. We yeah. lost control of our first video. What was your guys' first video? It, yeah. The first one was uh, um, Till I Collapse. 
Yeah, I think it was oh, like a oh, music yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A oh, music cool. video? Yeah, and, and uh, what happened was... Uh, when it, was this? Uh, Forever. 2006? Oh, wow. This 2005? Is like early 2000, YouTube. 2005, yeah. Actually, yeah. Before, a little bit pre-YouTube. And we were actually the first person, first people to put it on YouTube. It was on um, it was on a site that I had at the time, and people could just download it. And somebody downloaded it and then it on uploaded YouTube. it to YouTube. And when we discovered it, it had 150,000 views. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. huge. Yeah. Is this yeah. big Mark Bell or a Jack and Tan Mark Bell? You're, this is, you're semi-famous. Uh, in between. In yeah. between, 280, 290? On the, on the way up. 275, to probably. Aw. Yeah. I was in pretty good shape then. Yeah. yeah I, I, went, I went all over the place. Yeah. I've, been, I've, I've been all over the place. That's really with cool. my body weight and shit. But yeah, we, we were kind of, me and Jim here were kind of the, on the forefront of a lot of that. When I was with uh, EliteFTS.com, um, we were putting up a lot of videos. I was putting up videos before YouTube. I was on PutFile. Yeah. Take that, bitches. <laughs> 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 I got yeah. you. Thank you. Ding, 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 ding. Wrong song? Oh, all right. Yeah. No, that was good. That okay. was good. Yeah, you chimed in with your own language. Yeah. No, 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 no. What language was that, by the way? It was There's a taco truck that would fly by with that song in a second. <laughs> really? Yes, we're yeah. we're trying to like film videos and then this taco truck comes flying by. <laughs> Is it good? Have you awesome. tried it? No, we haven't tried it. We could try it. I'm down. We could vlog it. I love Mexican food. Really? What else are you guys into? You watch TV or anything? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. We love Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, I watch Game of yeah. Thrones. Yeah. Okay. Are you caught up? Huh. I. Missed the last episode. Oh, oh no! Then no, we, can't we can't talk. talk. About is that yeah. the finale or no? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm, I haven't seen the last oh, one. Oh my god! We can't say anything. I like Wayward it? Pines. Did, you ever yes. watch that it's shit? It's crazy. Wayward Pines is twisted. It's pretty cool. Oh hmm? man! Wayward Pines. I've is heard cool. that it's, it's good. good. I haven't Wayward watched Pines. it at all. Yeah, it's pretty I'll, cool. I have no I idea where it's going. It's probably going somewhere bad, but it's pretty good so far. Yeah. I only watch Just Kidding films and Game of Thrones. That's a smart man. That's all you need. All you need. Food. Favorite food. Favorite. I only have a favorite food genre. All right. It's uh. Italian sushi and pizza what and the hamburgers. Fuck? Yep. That doesn't count. That's he asked you your genre. favorite food. You just named every good food on the planet. That's not even and a genre. Pick one That's of like, yeah, it's like a bunch that's of that's different <laughs> shit. Yeah, pick just, one. Pick what one. about pizza sushi? Oh, like, no, no. So you take, hold on, hold on a second. Before you go and blow it off, I'm always full of good ideas. Listen, pizza listen sushi sounds me. pretty bad. Listen let's to me hear, here for a second, okay? Okay. So you take like a, you know, a roll, right? Like a dough, right? And you dough. Have dough. Oh, you take what some dough. What kind of sushi is that? Well, pizza oh. dough. It's just, oh, pizza it's just dough. a concept know. of a roll. So a pizza dough. Okay. Yeah, like okay. a little a little roll that has fucking uh, pepperoni, cheese. It's okay. Got, okay. You know? I like this. So oh, so there, there's no raw fish. There could be. You could throw a little so fish in there a, if you need to. Some so salmon. I think there's a, a chain. I don't know. It's in Sacramento, a couple places. And it's called you like could throw a burrito burger in roll. there if you want. Fuck it. It's like burrito roll or something. Oh, I don't I know the that. name. So I thought it was going to be a burrito with sushi stuff in it. I was like, that sounds great, right? Like fried shrimp. Rice, whatever. I go and it's just a big hand roll. Yeah, yeah, I heard of that. But it was whack. It was just hand a big rolls hand roll. I hate. That. It's I fine. Yeah. It's we fine. We talked about it yesterday. Yeah, but an did. actual sushi roll that looks like a burrito. Now we're fucking talking. I don't yeah. like seaweed. What the fuck's that shit made of? That's it, it's a big fucking seaweed, seaweed. seaweed roll. Yeah, yeah. No, fuck I that. Do. I need a tortilla. I know, but it's indestructible. Like you can't do anything. You know. Yeah, I need a, a tortilla roll, rice base. Then you start throwing That'd some sriracha. My stomach and my butthole have no idea what to do with yeah. some shrimp, some fried shrimp, maybe some fish. Bada boom, bada bing. Maybe even some teriyaki chicken. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, that I like sounds that. delicious, right? Yeah, it yeah. does sound delicious. Barbell Brigade burritos. Bada boom. Super like, yeah. Super Brigade burritos. Yeah, yeah. Super Brigade. At Makuni, they have uh, like chicken. They have chicken in one of them. It's so good. In a roll, in a yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. chicken. Yeah. Are we going there tonight? That's fried not chicken. Even sushi anymore. It's oh, it's good. It's good. It's amazing. Are we going there tonight? We should. I'm in. We yeah. should sign me up. I'm down for anything. Makuni's do, local sushi. Do people bring a lot of donuts to this gym? No, no, no. 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 Oh, no. Um, not very often. So they used to. This this gym used to be great. First of all, <laughs> it everybody used to be great. everybody used to be 300 pounds. Yeah. Everybody used to be on shit. And everybody used to come in with donuts, McDonald's, Burger King, and Carl's and Jr. And eat it in front we'll of you. We'll bring stuff and in. And eat like it like right before their training session. Yeah. You know, they eat like Carl's perfect. Jr. Yeah. And, and me and my girlfriend will try to bring stuff in, like leftovers like from a UFC fight. We watch a Marks or something. So and you bring no one leftovers? Eat it. Yeah, but like brownies, not like uh, actual leftovers. Right. It's like, like a tub of brownies. And they'll stay here for a week. Yeah, and no, no one, one will eat it, yeah. What happened? What happened? I don't know. A bunch of pussies. We've fallen. We're just playing out the string now. Yeah. I only live for the gram. That's why. The everyone's so self conscious. Mm. Yeah. That's the only thing I live for. Yeah. The everyone's so the self conscious. Gram. Everyone's trying to get some abs. Yeah. So, fuck. Abs are the new abs. Abs are the new abs. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. People abs try to are say the new traps. No. Traps are the new abs. Yeah. People try to say that, but I don't really get it. Like no. abs are the new abs. 
If you have abs, you look like you've done something. Yeah. That's well, true. ass for girls. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, you yeah, can look yeah. like ass you've done an heroin, heroin for guys. really. I mean, think about it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. I'm in. Count yeah. me in. Sushi. Don't, don't eat long squats. enough. Squats. What else we got this weekend? Vlogging. Swimming. Swimming. Oh, Saw I'm the new down pool. with that. Cannonball. Oh, wait, wait. He said he's not swimming in your pool because he says you take shits in your pool. That's what oh, I've heard. Oh, yeah, sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, then well, I'm not down with that. No, no I don't we mind. Got a, we have a filter. <laughs> yeah, a filter, yeah. I oh, don't mind. a poo filter. I don't go in the pool and shit. I shit from the outside into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not like I'm... Because that would be gross. If I was uh, swimming and I shit, right, that right. would be yeah, disgusting. Like a watering hole in the savannah. <laughs> yeah. like I'm on the deck and I shit into the water. It's a yeah. giant yeah. bidet. Yeah. It swirls around the hot tub pretty good and then it gets yeah. kicked out in the filter. Yeah. I saw those lights. That looks like a fucking rave. Yeah. I'm only swimming at night. Yeah, we got an outdoor kitchen and all kinds of shit. That's awesome. Damn, we should I have a barbecue. Wait. That's what Bart was saying. He's like, I don't care about anything else this weekend. I just want to go to Mark's house. We can That's barbecue. That's said. Go to my house and... Cam show. Eat. Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Webcam. <laughs> <laughs> we can spoon and maybe we can fork too. I'm down. Hmm? Mark comes or back. Or knife. Mark was on like a hey. mini vacay in San Francisco and all he comes back and tells me about is the Ben and Jerry's he ate all week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, every step I took, I got fatter and fatter. There yeah. was Ben and Jerry's. There was a Ghirardelli chocolate. Oh, yeah, a little you square. guys don't have Fucking mini Jerry donuts. Yeah, we do. So. He's just there, fat. Well, there when was. He, there, no, there's, when he goes on no, vacation, he gets fat. No, there's uh, no Ben and Jerry's store here. Oh, no, there, there was oh, in Davis. Ben no, there is. Yeah. Yeah. There's I one. I didn't even know there was one. There's one by Arden. There was one in Davis and I used to go there all the time. It was so good. Now they have fucking Pinkberry. Thanks a lot, Pinkberry. Pinkberry's all right. Pinkberry There's a couple awesome. places we could take Pinkberry you. is good, but Ben and Jerry's is yeah. There's this place called The Parlor. I was trying to describe it to Mark yesterday. So you get a donut, like a jelly. Oh, I'm down. All right, so a jelly. <laughs> jelly <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. I'm down. Jelly donut, donut with nothing in it. Just a glazed jelly donut. I love it. With nothing in it. Cut it open. Dump ice cream in it. Yes. Close it. Yep. Re refry it. Shut up. What the yeah. fuck is that? And you that? can throw like ingredients. Remember Cold Stone? Yeah. I don't yeah. even know if they're still around. So you can, yeah, like, they are. So they you are. can like Cold Stone this bitch. They cut open a glazed donut. Ice cream of your choice, homemade, fancy ice cream, toppings like Cold Stone. Close it, refry it. What makes it fancy? They put like a bow on it. No, like uh, like fancy flavors, kind of like Ben and oh, Jerry. Oh, fancy flavors. How oh. often do you eat this? Yeah. I've only had it twice. Yeah. Wow. So what did you Sounds have? Sounds like it? diabetes. Yeah. What did you have at your like deli? It. Yeah. Yeah, and then we have a fancy donut place. I'll show you. Uh, I just got a, right now. We just got a bunch of chocolate from there, but yeah. they have like Sundays and all kinds of shit. The we shake. already we kept eating, so we just didn't have any more room. The chocolate shake. There. Oh, God, I should have tried it's, it. It's next level. Next is level. it like dark chocolate or something? Yeah, yeah. Mm. And the actual good ice cream in San Francisco, though, is Byright. Okay. You got to go there. It's yeah, there the was best. a lot of There's like... There's a line uh, in the street all the time. Yeah, there was a lot of homemade like ice cream places, but we didn't hit any of that up. I yeah. was just like, fuck it, let's just go to Ben... Because Ben & Jerry's was like right next to our hotel. Right. This donut place, I think I told you, Smelly, they'll take a uh, jelly donut style. Throw it and then melt a Reese's Pieces cup inside oh, it. Oh, that sounds yeah. ridiculous. Oh. Sounds awesome. I think that's my new favorite genre of food. Peanut butter yeah. cups. Shout out, shout out Baker's Donuts. I agree. Favorite food? Uh, pizza. Yeah. Pizza. Yeah. You just can't yeah. go wrong. There's Damn you can it. eat it hot. Should we have pizza cold, tonight? Anything. I can't. Dude, it's so good. The Chicago Fire is pretty fucking good. I, I, I can't either. Hot Italian. Hot Italian can I smell good. it? It's pretty good. Sorry, Sarah. We have some decent <laughs> pizza up in here. I know, Sarah. We're going to break our macros tonight. We can eat healthy. Sushi it is. I, I always eat pretty good. Hell, uh, I mean, every once in a while, I'll throw down some ice cream here. Sushi or some candy. Pretty but it seems like you really want us to eat this pizza and these donuts, and we these don't want to disappoint. These donuts are pretty good. I haven't had them in a while. If you eat pizza with the Quest Bar, it's considered healthy now, it right? It is. <laughs> the Quest Bar cancels out whatever that you just had because yeah. of the fiber oh, content. Because of fiber, yeah. That's it what just I heard about. And the thermogenic right effects of protein, the 20 grams of whey protein in there. Fuck it. If we're on 20 gallons of Anavar, I think it's okay if we have a donut here and there. Yeah, what's up with that shoulder vein? We forgot to address that. She already mentioned her dose of 20 gallons. Yeah, yeah 20 gallons yeah. every other day. I've never seen that before. That's on, where on I a, get my two On a lady. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah. What do you think about that, Bart? He thinks it's sexy. I think the Anavar is awesome. I mean, mm. just what is she turning into, though? I mean, are you concerned? Is she going to get a mustache? Sexy, no, into a sexy woman. Rar. I don't know. Rar. 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 I don't know about this. She looks too jacked. That vein popping out of the shoulder. He likes it. No, I think she's beautiful. It. Thank you. Good answer. No, he, got, he has guy. to fucking say that. Yeah. Smart guy. He has to. He has no he's, choice. He's in too deep now. I got to yeah. wait till September and then I can say whatever I want afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up. You say whatever you want now. True. Yeah. Can I, can I marry you guys? Actually, we have someone already marrying us. Oh. Sorry. But yeah, it's yeah. our friend. But if he dies, well, we'll, uh, <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if he dies, well, we'll... Yeah, what if he kicks the bucket? Then uh, I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm down I'll with that. I'll be in there. Are you guys getting married in September? Is not a joke. No, for real. Yeah, we are. We haven't really announced it anywhere. So this is the first oh. time we've yeah, announced yeah. it. Yeah, That's yeah. amazing. Hawaii. They're, they're, yeah. Marriage in Hawaii. Because we're trying to. I'll break the news. They're getting married because she's pregnant. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hey, <laughs> Mexican style. Yeah. Junior Bart. Yeah, so we're going to Hawaii, <laughs> eating sushi in a fucking hat dance. Is that the... Yeah, that's it. Yeah. With Hopping that out, babies. Congratulations, Bart. So yeah. proud of you. It's the baby's going to come out and like hit the gong. Junior Brigade. Yeah. Oh, Junior Brigade. Jacked baby. Jackson <laughs> Tan. Coming out all ripped. Baby's shredded. Gonna, baby's going to miss the pinata baby. and hit the gong. What is he? Majin? <laughs> yeah. Majin, yeah. Majin. Moriental? Moriental. Oh. Yeah. I like that better. Yeah, me too. Mexican? No. no. Everything right. ends up being Mexican, though. Yeah. Yeah. You could have a black guy. It's just going to be Filipino. Filipino. Wait, what's your math on this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going black guy. <laughs> black, <laughs> black guy, <laughs> white girl. It turns out to be Mexican. Uh, oh, kind of. It's just pretty much. You're a racist. It's a Filipino baby. Bit. Where can people find you guys? It's time to go squat. Mexican.com. Mexican.com. Or barbellbrigade.com. Or YouTube.com. Dot com slash just getting films. Or Barb or Bart Kwan. <laughs> Oh, or yeah. slash Park Kwan or slash Gio What do you guys Kwan have coming up? Anything? Backslash anything, Geo, uh, French ass name. I mean, I'm sure you have a lot coming up. But anything uh, cool? Anything yeah. fun? Um, we have a couple new shirt designs that we're coming out with that we actually brought up for you guys. Oh, sick. That's pretty cool. Yeah. We don't even have them We yet. don't even have them yet. <laughs> <We don't laughs> it doesn't that suck? You can't get your own <laughs> shit. Yeah. You know? It's all right. I mean, you guys are. Silent guys Mike's are like that work. all the time. He never has any of the new stuff. He gets killed. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. I send new shit out to everybody and I don't get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. Whatever. I feel you. I don't care. It's all right. I'm too cool, man. Yeah. I'll wear fucking anything. Any other uh, obligations Fuck coming up? Any uh, any events or anything? Yeah, like live that? events you want to sell? Uh, uh, no live events, really. Uh, just nothing. the YouTubes? Just yeah. chilling. Just, just chilling. YouTube. Lifting yeah. a little bit? Uh, I guess our just next building. really big thing is uh, we're, we're moving offices for Just Kidding Films. So now we're trying to get a, a bigger place that will have sets and stuff. So mm. trying to really up the production and make it look like TV ready. Cool. So that's where, really exciting. Yeah, where, where where are you moving to? You have any idea yet? Or not sure? No idea. You've just been searching. Still Sacramento's around. got some space. <laughs> oh, it sounds about close. H- have you guys used the YouTube space down there? Uh, have we used it? No, it's actually a pretty tedious process, and there's like this crazy waiting list. So we're that's like, what I kind of heard. Yeah, forget our friends have it. used it, and we've been on their sets before. No. Yeah, it's super legitimate and it's super helpful. But I mean, the way how we would you guys like content? to have uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin on one of your things? That'd, That'd be, be awesome. Really cool. Yeah, I can, I can set that up. I think. Yeah, let's down. do that. Yeah, he just kidding. Down. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Ha, ha, ha. No, I think he would be down for it. He he loves doing shit like that. And you yeah. guys are, you guys have a big enough following, and you're professional enough that he would be down. Yeah, for he's, that. Uh, oh, what's the other comedy? You. It was actually yeah, started awesome. in Davis. Mosh. Smosh? Smosh. 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 Yeah, I think yeah. uh, Stone Cold did some with them. Oh, do you know oh, those guys? That's, that's I don't know. So they're, they're on a completely. Different oh, really? Level, Their yeah. hometown is Mark, where Mark lives. Oh, it's yeah, a tiny little city. They're super huge. In New York? No, no, no. Here. Oh, they're based. Yeah, fifteen minutes that way. Where Mark's house is now. Yeah, they did something with The Rock, too. Dude, didn't that they? was the funniest thing. Yeah, that was really great. Cool. That, I, I didn't actually think they were that funny. Like, uh, I used to no, coach. No, with The Rock was great. I used to coach high school basketball, and these kids are, this is maybe five years ago. The kids are like, oh, Smosh is so funny. Like, I met them. They're in Davis. And so I was like, dude, I don't know. So I Googled it. And I was into YouTube a little bit then. I was like, these guys aren't funny at all. And then I watched one with The Rock, and they're just, have you seen it? No. They're just interviewing The out. Rock. And I think The Rock thinks it's a real interview just for whatever movie was coming out at the time. And the guy's just like, <laughs> The Rock's going along with it the whole time. Yeah, yeah, he the was Rock's, hilarious. Yeah, after the first joke, The Rock gets yeah. it and it's going nuts. He's just like, you smell that? <laughs> <laughs> you smell that? Funny, yeah. I was just dying. That's awesome. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it was uh, great having you on the show. You got anything else to plug or say? or No, thank else? you for having us. Yeah, yeah butt plug absolutely. away. Yeah. Um, butt, butt plug. plug away. I got that. All right, they got some new shirts coming out. Look for it on barbelbrigade.com. And uh, multiply your hustle, multiply your muscle, and may all your shits be tapered. I'm at Mark Smelly Bell. Hey yo, sorry. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. I'm at uh, Silent Mike <laughs> with two Ks, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm Jimmy D S T T V everywhere that I would want you to find me. Follow the show on Instagram at Mark Bell's Powercast, Facebook.com/slash Super Training Gym, Twitter at SG Gym Sack, and we are out. Thank you, Mr. Bakwam. Dang, that was nice. Subscribe to Power Magazine at thepowermagazine.com. If you choose the digital edition, you can catch up on all the great back issues, take your training to the next level with slingshot products at howmuchyoubench.net, and look for PSN products including NO Explode at bodybuilding.com. Mark Bell's Powercast is a production of supertraining.tv.